Hello, my name is David Bali. I'm the current president of the Scoliosis Research Society, and I am from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm here today to talk to you about scoliosis. Scoliosis is a three-dimensional deformity of the spine. So if we look at the normal spine in a front-back view, it is straight. When scoliosis occurs, the spine is shifted to the side, it is rotated, and oftentimes it will shift towards the front as well. So it is a three-dimensional deformity. And as spine specialists, we typically look at the spine from behind. So we see the spine shifted to the side, we see the rotation with a rib prominence, and oftentimes we'll see the spine pushed forward into the chest. Scoliosis prevalence, or the rate that it occurs, is, more, is equally common in boys and girls. However, girls are much more likely to progress and to need treatment. So idiopathic scoliosis is the most common, and idiopathic means we don't know what causes it. Other forms of scoliosis include congenital scoliosis, where the bones are misshapen from birth, neuromuscular scoliosis due to underlying, uh, underlying neuromuscular conditions that cause the spine to be altered in alignment. And then there are a variety of other what we call syndromic associated uh, curves that occur in association with other medical syndromes. Scoliosis doesn't always progress. If scoliosis ends up at 30 degrees or less at the end of growth, it's the same as a normal spine. Brace treatment is only used in people who are growing, so typically during the adolescent growth spurt, for curves greater than 25 degrees and less than 45 degrees. Typically, we recommend surgery around 45 to 50 degrees in children who are still growing. If you reach adulthood with a curve of 45 or 50 degrees, it becomes a choice about whether or not surgery or just watching the curve is the appropriate treatment. We don't know why children get idiopathic scoliosis. Idiopathic means we don't understand the cause. Uh, in the scoliosis associated with other conditions, then it's the other condition that drives it. So such as cerebral palsy, uh, the spasticity causes the curve. In congenital scoliosis, the malshapen bones uh, cause the curve. And in other rare circumstances, we might understand what causes the curve. But in most circumstances, we don't know. Bad posture does not cause scoliosis. It may cause other problems, but scoliosis is not one of them. Exercises uh, in general can help make a he healthier spine, and there is an emerging school of thought about scoliosis-specific exercises that may or may not help. And so while it won't cure your scoliosis, it may help lessen the progression, and it certainly will help improve your overall health.